Hey, it's the Running Student here, and today we're going to talk about the spinner inside JavaFX, Scene Builder, and IntelliJ. So first of all, I got a basic JavaFX application running, and I would remove the predetermined window size, and I have connected my sample FXML to Scene Builder. And if you don't know how to do any of this, there'll be a link in the description. But I will use the spinner, which is this one which is the ability to choose some, um, some option and then you can go up and down. So we would often use it with numbers and you would choose between like a number between and some range and then you can choose a specific number and we would then get the number and use it somewhere. For example, so I would just create a spinner and I would create a button and I would create, let's get some text and I will just create a simple program where we can choose a number with our spinner. Click the button, and the text and the number would be displayed in text over here. So just very simple. Let's make the text a bit bigger. Then first of all, we're going to give our text an ID, and I'll just call it text. Simply, I will have an button and button clicked. I would have get text. Oh, like get number. I guess I think it's better. And then we would give a spinner an ID and just call it a number spinner. It would save, it would view, show sample control skeleton, and copy. And we would put it inside our controller. First of all, like always, import the mouse event. And we need to tell the spinner what is it going to be spinning. So it would be spinning integers. I'm just going to use numbers. So after telling our system what kind of object our spinner will be spinning, we'll need to create something called spinner value factory, which is kind of like a box containing the information of how we will be spinning, and again, what we're going to be spinning. So we're going to create a spinner value factory, and again, it's going to be containing an integer. We would call this spinner spinner value factory. That's equal to a new spinner value factory dot integer spinner value factory, and we would have to tell it three parameters, like the, the smallest value, the biggest value, and how much we're going to increment each time. So we'll do one, comma, ten, comma, comma one. I will just get it on new line, so we can see what's going on. And remember, Java the lines actually doesn't matter; it's all based on the semicolons. So spin a value factory containing an integer named svf equals a new spinner value factory dot integer spinner value factory and we go between 1 and 10 and we jumps 1 every time we go up and down so now we need to actually give the spinner value factory to our spinner but we need the program to be running first so in the last episode we talked about initialize so we can implement initializable which allows us to implement the method initialize which is a method that's called exactly once and exactly when the window is done loading so what we can do is we can do number spinner dot set value factory we've given it the value factory svf so now we can run the program and as you can see we now have a spinner going from 1 to 10 and we're adjusting that by incrementing or decrementing by one. There we go. So now I'll just implement the rest of the simple program. So on the mouse click, we would just do number spinner dot get value. And we would save this. Yeah, let's do it this way. So we do an integer number 
equals numbers binner get value and we would simply just do uh, text dot set text to be the number and we would like to typecast it to a string by doing string dot value of number so now we've got a simple program running and change the value with the spinner click the button and get the data from a spinner there we go so that's the basics of the spinner create a spinner create a value factory which contains information on how we will be spinning and then use initialize to actually set the value factory to our number spinner and then we're just simply getting the information from the spinner and adding it to our text so that's the basics of the spinner in javafx with scene builder and intellij hope you enjoyed and leave a like and subscribe and have a wonderful day